prone to letting his emotions get in the way of himself for as Razy is an emotionless robot. So I'm going to give it to him. Awesome. Well, I'm glad I could help you with your prediction there, Flea, and I'll see you on the other <laughs> side. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Wee. <laughs> Cheers, we appreciate that, mate, as we're going to get into this first map between Razy and Sirius, starting off from Razy's POV, just taking it a little bit slow here. He's only got the LG in his arsenal, but I'm sure it's going to increase. But, of course, just binding his time for now. Has the heavy machine gun, he wants to do a little bit of damage instead of the rail anyway, depending on his strafe pattern. And, yeah, this is a very slow start from Razy. He's obviously picked up on what shenanigans with Sirius is doing previously. But yeah, Sirius does pick up that heavy and Razy does pick up the Mega for now. Both players off to a very slow, calculated opening. Respectful of one another. Razy knows exactly what Sirius is capable of with any weapon in his hands. Now both players, of course, spawning on opposite side of the map, meaning that Razy starts off with the LG and Sirius can take rail and perhaps even rockets. Now Razy sneaking into Sirius's base without making any noise whatsoever, will eventually give away his position, but not without getting a Rockets and a Rail for free. Meanwhile, Sirius still sitting pretty in that exact same spot, lacking the Lightning Gun, which is, of course, the weapon that he's most known for. Of course, Razy knows when your opponent's already around that heavy area, it's very difficult to try and contest especially with the high and the close quarters area he's in, just waiting for Razy or daring him to try and come across. But if he gives him more and more of his chip damage, then it's going to be a huge opening here. And the sound alarm bells for Sirius as Razy will just dive on him. But slowly but surely he's able to get through. Man, he's hit the first one, backs away straight away just to throw him off guard a bit. And that was huge. Hits the second one straight afterwards. And this is what I'm talking about. Some of these big plays will be huge for Razy. Considering the aim is good, no matter how good it is, almost taken down in the end, but Sirius will get cleaned up as Razy's left on 16 HP at the time. Razy taking far more damage than he had bargained for. Somehow Sirius was able to avoid most of that shotgun damage, picking up a few health bubbles here and there to keep himself alive. And because of that, Razy was unable to get control of both of the items, has to concern himself with just the heavy, while Sirius got a pretty convenient spawn near the Mega. But here we go, another fight opens up. Sirius getting bounced clean into the air, and Razy once more finishing it off with the shoddy. Certainly has done, and you can see Razy's just trying to make Sirius feel as uncomfortable as possible, just to not just in terms of what decision he should make, but it will affect his aim skill a little bit also. Nice 4 one from the last trial bolt, a further 35 to add to the tally. Again, just dancing around top mid to see what Sirius is going to do first. And Sirius isn't taking the bait right now. Mega's up in the next seven seconds, but then again, so is the heavy. As Razor now pushing it in with the LG. We're about to clean him up, though. Looking very strong indeed. Sirius will get taken down once again, and Razy already up 3-0 in this map. And you just know that this is not how Sirius wants to play these matches, right? And that's exactly why Razy is approaching it like this. Constantly keeping his distance, staying clear from that murderous LG range, and just baiting Sirius out into these very awkward, uncomfortable fights that Razy knows that he can just play the way he wants to, and Sirius is likely to kind of get a little flustered, start making mistakes. And now, before you know it, Lethal, we blinked, and it's a 6-0 lead. Absolutely incredible. This is like a different tier on itself already. And I did actually make a note before um, with Sirius. Like one of the main things, it just must not tilt. It's easier said than done. We I mean, know a lot of players completely change their ways when their mentality is thrown out the window entirely. But it looks like he's still chilling a little bit and just trying to find his footing in this matchup here. But Razy's just. Kind of feel like he's already got his number considering the start he's had, just trying to throw him off a little bit, not just to the champion pick, but just in general with how he's making his rotations and changing up his pattern at all times. Sirius is so, so weak. Ooh. He's actually missed the jump for the yeah. heavy, but it looks like he's just going to orb up and try and grab that. Eventually, he does. Delayed it just by a few seconds. It might throw Razy off, depending on the circumstances here, but Sirius does have top mid control. I like what Razy was going for there. First jumping up to the heavy with the plasma trail, then dropping right back down, just making it so that Sirius couldn't take that item first. But then unfortunately Razy missed that jump back up and had to give up the item. Not that it'll bother him too much. He's still looking very healthy, plus has a considerable lead over his opponent as we are approaching the halfway point of this map. Yeah, there has been a couple of occasions where Razy was knocking on Death's doors 
So he just could not clean up at all in the slightest. Not the best of rockets here from Razy, just to put a little bit of pressure down. He did about 61 total though from the two rockets, did some damage, but that last rocket will definitely give him the opportunity to try close out this seventh frag, but that tribot will do some additional damage there. Just waiting for this heavy, has the advantage, but oh, he's just waiting to see if he's going to fall for it. He does not, as Razy just down his grammar, serious still manages to take him out, get that first frag. And still got four and a half minutes of play, so Sirius does have time to come back in this matchup. I like the aggression that Sirius showed right there. Going for the rocket jump to try and make his way over to Mega on time. Unfortunately for him, Razy, of course, playing Slash, got there first. But still, I like that Sirius was immediately ready to go and apply pressure. Now going up this bounce pad without the orb at the ready, that is something he should not do. Fortunately, he does reconsider. Loops back around, sets up for the Mega instead. Now Deep Embrace still is a pretty small map. Yes, he is outmaneuvered by Slash, but small arena. Five frags in four minutes, perfectly doable. Doesn't have to rush himself, especially if he can get this one. And he can, beautiful Rocket. Picks up a small armor, nice opening rail. This is so good for Sirius. Oh, great read as well. Heavy will be up in the next few seconds. Not going to go for it as of yet. Just going to see what Razy is going to do first. That was an important round here. Sadly, he just barely misses it. To add that third frag to his name. But still, though, continue to put this pressure on. You could see Razy was suffocating him so much, but Sirius couldn't really get going. He couldn't really push his own style of play. Razy just forced him to make him play his own. But it seems like Sirius now has got a bit more room to breathe. You can see he's a bit more himself now in terms of his character in game. Still got about three minutes left, but it's like I said, it's a very small map. Four frags is definitely doable, but these frags need to be clean and avoid being traded out. Both items picked up at the exact same time. That's not what Sirius was hoping for. This benefits Razy considerably because to mount a comeback like this, you really want full control and be able to cycle both of these items and in between picking them up, go hunt for your opponent. But now that they're tied, Sirius is not at liberty to do so. We'll actually trade a frag here that is again just going to benefit Razy because all that does is bring us closer to that 10 minute mark. Indeed, any way to waste time, Razy's going to be all for it. He has a bit of a feeling he's biting that pillow, at least around top mid, but just... Razy just making sure to not give too many reads. Hits that first rail, beautiful stuff. From Sirius, just to add a bit of damage and force him away. Heavy's up in the next 10 seconds. Says Razy does have time to try and contest it if he likes. He's going to assume that Sirius is going to be around the proximity of the Heavy. Looking to back away. But Ray's now already on guard here on top of his heavy. Looking to see if he can get a bit more done. Not as of yet, but this is the problem for Sirius now. Ray's is in the position with the items segregated so much in terms of time. He can go back and forth for these items. It's Ray's to continue to hold top mid, waiting for Sirius to progress onto that mega. We'll have to give it away for free after that first missed rail. And oh, again, good rocket there as he's backing away once more. But this is a problem, you see. Sirius now needs to be overly aggressive, take a lot more risk, because there isn't really much time left for him to kind of make these methodical plays. True. 90 seconds, four frags. All the pressure is now on him. He's got to find Razy, but Razy. <laughs> We know that he can slow any game down to a crawl. He can turn himself invisible on these maps and just run down the clock. And I think that that's exactly what he's going to do. And now Sirius has to make really difficult decisions, right? Does he, does he even go for the Mega? It's his, it's free to take. But he knows that doing so will cost him yet another 10 seconds that he will have to waste not being able to chase Razy. But then you end up with situations like this where he doesn't go for the Mega and ends up without the stack needed to actually get the kill. And I think that that there would be the final nail in the coffin and that Razy is comfortably going to walk away with a map one win. That's literally going to be it as Razy makes quick work of Sirius. Nicely done there with the LG as he went flying high. And oh. Yeah. oh, okay. Uh, make, make it a second time. Why not? Why not? Pretty much kite flying at this point. And yeah, you can see from Razy, he just made him feel really uncomfortable from the start because Sirius was, wasn't too sure where to look, where to go. And I think before in the previous matchup against Sparty, he had all the info he required in order to continue pursuing that aggression again and again and again. But Razy yes. is the complete opposite effect. It's not giving him any angles, any clue what he's doing. And any time Razy does come out really strong and just hyper aggressive, he's got a full stack advantage. And of course, he's going to take that every single time, trying to go for the gauntlet, but... 
not going to happen here, but 10 frag deficit, there you go, as the first map will be going in favour of Razy, make that 11. Yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about just a few minutes into the match, right? Razy knows exactly how to counter this playstyle. He's had the practice against Tox, right? A similar aimer to Sirius, as we discussed before this match started. And he is just able to dismantle that playstyle. He knows what Sirius wants is constant aggression. Right up your face, or up in your face, rather, with the LG, tons of damage coming out. So what does Razy do? stay as far away as possible as he can, steer clear from his opponent. He says, I know that you're going to get antsy. If I slow this down and you don't see me for two minutes, you are going to want to push and you're going to start making mistakes. So what Razy does is just play to his own strengths, sitting there back, emotionlessly waiting and just baiting Sirius into jumping out into the middle of the map and taking him in these uncomfortable fights, like you said, making it extremely awkward for Sirius to do anything. And that ultimately worked beautifully for Razy. Yeah, you can see that Sirius is getting the heebie-jeebies a little bit. It was so tempted True. to push him in any way, shape or form. But the thing is that, again, it was the lack of info. Just how he pursued at the very beginning, just almost walking towards the health bubble outside the heavy across top mid, and then eventually jumping out with that first rail. Just doing anything just to mess with his brain in more ways than one. And no, I'm worried now because, like I said, this was statistically one of the worst maps for Razy, but now we're going on to Razy's best map. But Sirius also selected this map for a reason, so he's obviously very confident going into this second map, but is it going to be a 2-0 sweep? The potential is there, looking like how Razy performed so far. But yeah, the plays Razy was making was just phenomenal. That's why he's one of the players and the top tier players Ooh. here coming to the championships, but also one of the favorites to win the competition. Look at these statistics. 70% Railgun for Razy. 44% LG for Razy. Out damaging and out aiming Sirius with the two weapons that he holds dearest. And that is exactly the result of that play style, making it uncomfortable for Sirius, always putting him into these awkward fights that he does not want to be in. So I'm curious how map two is going to start off because previous map, it was so strange the opening. It was almost as if I was watching one of those tactical FPS, right? <laughs> Razy just crouched walked all the way across the map, didn't even pick up Railgun, just stood there for a moment, and completely throwing Sirius off his guard and then moving it from there. So map two is going to be awoken, very different beast. In terms of playstyle, honestly not that different to Deep Embrace, like similar art style as well, but also relatively small maps to both of them. But it's the champions that are different, right? Anarchy versus Nyx, two lights. Yeah, I love how you compared it to tactical FPS at the very beginning. We don't, we we don't like those. You know, Quake's <laughs> ten times better anyway. This is why we're here, actually. True. <laughs> in, in all fairness, but yeah, two light champions. This has got a lot of potential to be a high fragging game, depending on the circumstances. It could just be in Razy's favor, or it could be quite a close affair. We we'll have to see. But it's like I said before, once someone's forcing their style onto you and you start to feel really uncomfortable, it's not the fact that he did it for thirty seconds or a couple of minutes. It was literally like eight or nine minutes of the game. There's only one moment where I saw a bit of flair coming out from Sirius, where he was like, right, okay, you know. Let's make this comeback. Yeah. Let's try and at least stop training behind by so many uh, fans in terms of deficit. But no, Razor was like, no, it's fine. I'm just going to whack you with a 70% rail. And River Slash as well, that's not an easy task oh, in itself. It absolutely is not. Now, with that being said, we are loading into map to Awoken. Anarchy will be played by Razy, right? So he's got that injection, give himself that health top up, plus the air control to work with. Whereas Sirius is using Nyx. And Nyx, he's got the Ghost Walk, very powerful, aggressive tool, but also also useful defensively to get out of sticky situations and the passive the wall jump which essentially is a double jump in many of the situations on this map especially around that center area where you can make such good use out of that ability so it does indeed but let's see if Razor's gonna make quick work of this series and make it a 2-0 victory or Sirius can make some kind of comeback here and take us to a third and final map in this winner's bracket so we start things off from Sirius to see exactly what he's gonna be up to and it's quite interesting as well. Both these players will be fighting for the hourglasses and more, or sorry, multiple occasions, depending on what pattern and rotation they're going to make. See, it's with an early stack advantage here, it's just a matter of how he's going to use it to its full potential. Razy still lacking the LG, doesn't have the rockets yet. Sirius, no dot aware of this, wants to zone Razy out. Knowing that his opponent only has a railgun to work with, that opens up a lot of interesting engagements. Now he's trying to bait Razy out. Whoa, he came so close to doing a lot of damage with that opening tribal shot. But Razy, 
stuck far enough back to avoid it. Certainly did indeed. It's going to be another slow paced game, another game of chess at this point. As Sirius is waiting for Razor just to come out of his tents in that rail room and just I come like towards this. him in any way. I like that Sirius is adapting the same strategy. He realizes what Razy is doing, and instead of playing into it, he just mimics it, slowly crouch walking around the sides of the map, hoping to get an angle, which indeed he did. Now, Razy, I think did secure the LG in that one. Yep, still lacking the rockets, but finally managed to still stack out his arsenal a little further. But Sirius is doing a good job at countering Razy so far. Certainly has done. If you can't beat his game, just play his own game. That's literally what he's been doing. Just it's working out for him so far. As you can see, Razy knew he was top mid. It's just a matter of which way he was going to peek from. Chose correctly. It's back to way again. But it's interesting seeing the slow start from Sirius. I'm actually surprised Sirius is playing the exact same game, but I think he's been forced into a position where he has no choice. And yeah. this is where he's going to have to strongly adapt, which is uh, going to be a question mark, especially at the later stage of this map. But so far, so good. But this is what exactly happened on the first map. I remember as he, as he was getting a little bit more comfortable and confident in his setting, he was able to run away with it. Sirius, of course, Recognize that instantly and doesn't want the same thing to happen again. No players heavily segregating the timing at all in the slightest. Mm. And we're going to see what Sirius is going to do now continuing forward. I think Sirius is going to want to flip the items. He wants Heavy rather than Mega for two reasons. One, they're light champions. Heavy is always going to matter more since they don't spawn with any sort of armor to begin with. And secondly, Razy is playing as Anarchy. So he can essentially top himself up, overstack on Mega regardless. So you definitely don't want him to be the one to have Heavy. If you can give him Mega, his ability essentially becomes a lot less useful. So Sirius really wants to flip this, secure Heavy for himself. But so far, Razy has been able to deny that nicely. Yeah, I think this is probably the slowest of working game I've seen probably all season so yeah, far. Could but be. this is this means a lot for both of these players. Of course, neither player wants to drop into the losers bracket considering how well all these players have been performing all day long. Literally a death pit into the losers bracket so far considering what we've seen. Oh, the performance is there, but that was such great LG. The one mistake almost cost him here, and that means he's going to get both of the items, and that's going to be, again, ringing alarm bells for Razor to try and push on forward and trap Sirius down, and he has done 10 HP. This should be the last frag here, as Razor just trying to clean up, finally does it in the end. Took a while, but, you know, it's uh, one of the situations where at least he managed to get it, no matter how long it took. So four minutes in, one's a lead in favor of Razor. Pretty sure Sirius was saved by that pillar there, too. I think he would have been pushed out of the map. Yeah. by Razy's LG there. Luckily for him, there was a pillar behind, but he was unable to make his mistake. He might have been able to use the Ghost Walk to get out, but chose not to. And now Razy getting by solely because of a stack advantage. If they were on equal stacks, Sirius would have absolutely won that one. But now Razy is starting to string together a few of these kills. He is weak, he is low. Sirius, if he can find him, might be able to secure a frag. Problem right now is his weaponry. No LG. And up until a second ago, no railgun either. And we spoke about this earlier as well. No matter when he gets that first frag, that's when it's going to spiral out of control. And it looks like that's instantly happened. Taking full advantage with the full oh, item yeah. control and the map and on top of things. So for Sirius, it's going to be a question of how he's going to try and bring this back from a calculated perspective. It was fine before, but he can't do what he did before where he was playing quite passive in... Trying to wait for a mistake to come to him, but it's just not going to happen. But it does get traded out and also means that Razor's not going to have the huge stack he had beforehand. So it might be technically a win for Sirius, but Razor's straight on him with the Rockets to make it 6-1. to one. Also can't help but feel that Sirius is being perhaps a little too conservative with that ability of his. He's barely used it at all, Lethal. And that one time that he did, it amounted to very little because Razor still beat him to that small armor pickup. Now they happen to trade frags, wow. but crazy, beautiful mid-air rocket extending his lead and Sirius now left struggling for dear life. Crazy sneaky little drop down, one rail into a shotgun won't be enough to clean it up. And Sirius bleeding frags ever more, won't be able to secure that mega either. Crazy now just starting to run both of the majors. This is where it becomes dire for Sirius. 
It's crazy how that one instance when he got caught off guard with the LG when he was placed above heavy has caused this scoreline yep. and this fiasco. And this is what happens. The one time Razor got full item control and just swinging it back and forth, and that's where he's literally just become out of control and Sirius just can't contend with it at all. Three minutes and 45 seconds left for Sirius to try and close the gap with that eight frag deficit, but it's not looking likely at the moment. With Razy, I don't think he's the sort of person going to give us such a huge lead throughout this time scale. If anything, just going to continue piling on the pressure. Or maybe get a nice. corner kill. But that was a lovely rail there from Sis. Could be a style or something, but it's like I said, time is off the essence. Excellent rail. Through the glorious hole near the heavy. Now Mega. Next major item that's up. Sirius will be able to secure that one. But Razy, once again, proving so difficult to catch. Anarchy, one of the fastest, most mobile champions in the entire game. Series, of course. Nyx, still a very versatile champion. We've seen people talk about him in their interviews, right? Several people have said that Nyx is their favorite champ just because of how flexible and how versatile she is to throw your opponent off. But Razy is just so experienced at playing around that. Sirius is struggling. I don't know how he can do this unless he starts hitting every single rail, which he's very well capable of, but he has to make it happen now. We've seen it before, but I don't think Ray's is just going to give him the opportunity. Just going to keep his distance, and that's what he's doing. And every time he keeps his distance, he's always getting first shot. Don't be wrong, Sirius managed to get it then, but these frags aren't the cleanest, are they? Every yeah. time Sirius makes that recovery rotation across the map, that's more time added and more time wasted. But it has to be done. He can't fight on such low HP. He's literally on top of him at that stage. He's going to push on forward anyway, but Ray's will finally get the frag and increase his lead. Now what do you do when you're serious in this situation? Seven frags down. Bordering on the impossible now, knowing just how strong Razy is. As you said, one of the biggest issues is that Sirius has been able to secure a few frags, yes, but they've never been clean. They've never allowed him to just start stringing kill after kill together or getting a consistent grasp of the major items. And in doing so, Razy was slowly able to start challenging him off the respawn and steal away one of those items and get a frag as well. And I think that at this point, Lethal, it's over and done. 90 seconds, it's just not gonna happen anymore, I feel like. Yeah, I kind of feel like it was done pretty much a couple of minutes ago. Definitely out the realms of possibility now. But Razy just putting on the show. But I said this before the series as well. You can have all the aim skill in the world, but when you've got such strong adaptation, witnessing how to play against someone like Sirius, where he's uh, you know, a very accurate player, he's got very strong tracking, he's a momentum-based player. But him being that momentum-based player, once you're literally just suffocating him and putting so much pressure on that's where you can tilt a little bit and go, well, what, what do I do next? What do I need to do in order to try and bring this back? And he's had a few ideas left and right, but it's just not worked out for him, sadly. So some of this did not pay off, but it's like we mentioned before in this map, that one instance where he was thinking about dropping down as he was above that heavy and just took so much LG damage. And as soon as Razor was going back and forth, getting full item and map control, that was it. That was game over from then. That was the one instance which cost serious this map. And he was doing so well up he until was. that point too, yeah. right? He was really mimicking Razy's playstyle, not making any mistakes, but that one little slip up sent everything spiraling downwards. Now, of course, this is still the upper bracket, right? So let's keep in mind, Sirius remains in the tournament. He still has a shot at making it further than this, but looking a little dire after this one, and I think that any other player watching this might take a page out of Razy's book and try to do the same when they have to go up against Sirius next. Yeah, it's, uh, don't get me wrong, it's going to take a few years of hard work oh, and, and a massive grind, but do you know what? It's not an overnight success, as we already know. There's 